Hi everybody. So again, we are in we are at Cooper's Rock State Park area in Morgantown, West Virginia. We uh, are getting ready to go on the Hemlock Trail, as you can see right behind you. From what I understand, it's a 300-year-old grove of hemlocks that are still here. And I love trees, so we decided we wanted to come and see this. So anyhow, uh, it's only about a mile in on this trail, and once we get there, we'll share what we find. Anyhow, we've reached a little staircase, takes you down. It looks like it's crossing over a creek down here, and you can hear the creek flowing pretty heavily. <clears throat> we just went through some pretty torrential rain, um, actually flooded areas of Morgantown, West Virginia. So there's a lot of water flowing, but a beautiful forest. So this is kind of a lollipop trail. There's a, this is where it turns into the lollipop. So I'm guessing you can go either direction because it loops around through the forest. So you can choose which way you'd like to go. And again, coming another across another creek crossing here. This is a pretty trail. It's really kind of out of the way, but really cool. that pretty now this bridge is marked West Virginia University research forest so I'm guessing maybe West Virginia University uses this area for research but it is absolutely beautiful 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 forest to you. So the further up the trail you go, the more hemlocks you see. This forest is a new growth forest other than these hemlocks and I guess some of the hardwoods. But at one point in time, like many parts of the eastern United States, the iron ore furnace companies pretty much stripped these lands of the forest. So it's always nice when you find out that there is an old growth forest here, especially when as old as this one. Below us to the left is a creek, so we are walking past the creek, but we are in the middle of the hemlocks here. So pretty. Beautiful, beautiful. You can see these are just, just spectacular. Look how big these are. Holy cow. Lots of undergrowth. Very cool.
as one giant tree. So we are surrounded by some huge hemlocks here. So this is what a 300 year old hemlock tree looks like. Pretty massive. Beautiful, huh? Yep. Gorgeous. Huge. Massive. Nice shaded trail. It's got roots all over the place, but it's still a pretty easy trail. Cushy. Runs alongside this creek. This is the creek that runs alongside this trail. We took, uh, <clears throat> we went left uh, at that juncture and went uphill and then the trip down back around as it, lo it lollipops, so it comes back around and you actually kind of have a slow decline coming back. So we chose to do it that way. The incline was not too bad. It's rated as easy, I think. Um, and it wasn't that bad. It was a pretty, pretty easy trail. So we've reached the end of this trail and you can see we are surrounded by the hemlocks and they are doing what they can to preserve them when they find with these old groves they <clears throat> um, keep an eye on them for the invasive I think it was a, some type of beetle I'll have to look that up but something invaded them and has pretty much destroyed most of them but you can still find groves of them from um in different parts of the country and again like i said we are in west virginia near cooper's rock state park and this is a grove that is close to that park Thanks everybody for going with us today and wandering out yonder here in Cooper's Rock State Forest, I believe. There you go. Yes, I think <laughs> I finally got that right. Um, again, we were on the Hemlock Trail and we just almost completed it, we're almost to the end. Thought we would say goodbye here. It's such a beautiful spot and the water is so inviting and pretty. Um, anyhow, thanks everybody for joining us and we hope to see you again.